that's too much to ask, then five like five feet diagonal and stand here and just attack him. You're gonna stand on the lip there then? There's not much else I can do. It's I hit the band, so As you, so I shut five is not anything to have an advantage about. Okay, five feet on like if you're on standing above the stairs on someone, you don't get advantage. Actually, that's exactly when you manage it. Does that hit? Uh, yes, it takes that much bludgeoning. Oh. Acrobatics check. Lip. <laughs> you succeed. <laughs> If you choose which direction, and are there things that I saw? And oh, okay. right now, also the flaming skull if it's. Yeah. They, it's not that they, it's that they have to be running away. They have to move as far as me, or if there's, that's it. It's actually, it's forcing them into that south corner. Yeah. Okay. This guy go on there. Technically. He's a skeleton and he debates. Clever, clever skeleton. Clever skeleton shoots at Zane. That's how clever he is. He shoots the ground 20 feet away from Zane. And now it's Zane's turn. Hey, um... <laughs> Things kind of worried about this. That uh, really doesn't know about it, causing him problems. So what he's gonna do? Oh, um, he's up. Oh. Uh, that's I a pretty good question. Is. That is a good question. I think it might be. I need to make that check. Because I did smack him, and he isn't in line of sight. Do you need line of sight for concentration? No, no but if you take damage, you have to make concentration. Concent uh, concentration. take damage. Which he has. Oh, okay. I thought, he just, I thought he, he took, just got shoved. My bad. He took. Well, he well, it's the whole thing ended up. He ended up getting attacked and taking a little bit of damage there. So he does have to make a Constitution save. Of ten plus the damage. No, I think it's ten or um half the damage, whichever is higher. So in this case, ten.
Oh yeah, it's just thin. Ten or half the damage. Ten or half the damage you take, whichever is higher. Ten is higher in this. And he passes. Okay, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Uh, no, that was a good thing to call out. I did not think about that. I should. I should have been thinking about uh, that. Ah, no worries. It's all good. Okay, so that was the skeleton. I think it's still Zang's turn. Thing. Yeah, it's still my turn. Yeah, still Zang's turn. Um, so these two uh, zombies in front of me, they can't take opportunity attacks on me? No, they can't take they reactions can't. at all. They can't do anything to you. You can run away from them. Awesome. What I'm going to do is actually run up the side of the f Oh. To okay, get to that's... here? That is an athletics check. Um, it is not an easy athletics check. Well, I've got the strength for it, and I don't need to stop moving, so I can use my momentum a little bit. I really hope you have a good roll. Is he also springing off of me? No, he didn't say he was. No, I'm not. I think I can do it without that. That lowered the DC. Well, oh. never mind. I'm fucked. You, you, you tripped over the door. You're still down here. Sorry. Okay, so that completely cancels out my movement, right? Well, it's that stopped your movement. Okay, so actually, used any movement. How many more movement do I have? That I'll say that used one square of movement. I used five feet of movement. Cool, I'm doing it again. <laughs> I saw that coming. All right, I roll that check again. He's standing on the edge of the very slope. Oh, he he actually succeeded. Now you're landing on that lip. No, I'm I'm stopping there for like two seconds because I p point my staff out and I tap um, I tap Lazarus in the back of the head with it and cast uh, spider climb on it. <laughs> and then I slide down the other side of the forge. <laughs> that was pretty dang awesome. You get inspiration point. You have inspiration now. That was pretty cool. Awesome. Um, inspiration point. What do I? What, what's that do? Is it like an extra action? It's like it an action point. Advantage to anything once, basically. Oh, okay, okay. I'll hold on to that then. Um, so let me go. Let's see. I'm lost one movement, so I was at seven. One, two, three, four, seven. You have so much movement. He's a monk. Ah. You know what? I'm already up here. Screw it. Five, six, seven. And I'm walking across the top of that thing. Yeah, that's fine. No check needed. That thing is about wide enough. You can walk on it. Cool. And I'm, I don't I'm, know what you're going to do there, but that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of making my way over the, the water well, and I want to see if I can take out these two skeletons over here. They just keep shooting at us. shooting at you guys. Anyway, that ends my turn. Okay, so, um... It's his turn. He doesn't like you sitting right in front of him like that. Wah. Uh... Check something. It'd be really funny, like, from your perspective, all you might know is something brushed the back of your head, and then you, like, felt completely solid standing up there. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Instead of wibbly-wobbly, standing straight up. In fact, he could be, like, leaning backwards, just, like, feeling the warmth, but he's, like, literally, like... In the hole. Yeah, it's basically <laughs> like I touched him and it magnetized. Rogue, rogue, rogue. Roguey, 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 rogue. Cunning action. Casting spells while hidden is hilarious. That's all oh. like, I gotta say. Chris, can I make like a knowledge religion check on this thing since I 
haven't done yes. it. Yes, you can since you have not done it. I don't fucking know. Think no about idea. it. <laughs> it is the flaming skull. That's what that is. The flame. The flaming skull. The it's flaming not a flaming skull. skull. It is the flaming skull. Once it is <laughs> dead, none will exist. <laughs> there will so never it be might another. Be the flaming skull. Oh my gosh. I may okay. get a second level of rogue just to have cunning action. The more I think about it, the better it gets. Hey, Mike. Yeah, that's me. Once you realize that that's a water check out the layout of the rest of the dungeon with that in mind. No, yeah, that's what I said. That That's why I realized it's a water wheel. Well, I mean, like, not even, like, going from the right perspective. I started to work the path backwards, and I was like, wow. No, it goes from the left. It, yeah, it goes from the left. And then, I'm like, it the lake. Goes, it diverted. Yeah, Yeah, it's supposed to come from the lake, which has a waterfall. It, go, it goes to the pool, to the uh, wave. Of, yeah, that's why I figured it out. It goes that's to here, it. but there's, like, a fuck up here. Torn up lands. From left to right. Yeah. That's that's so awesome. I love it. <laughs> yeah, like, I was wondering, like, what the heck is that thing? And I saw that the it, that that whole tunnel goes to the, uh, to the big reservoir in the upper right, and I'm like, huh, that big reservoir is lower, and I, was, and I started looking to the left, I'm like, oh, yeah. Because now I'm thinking, if we built, like, a bridge right here... And, like, it crossed the gap, then we could potentially turn the water well back on. So, what's it oh, doing? Oh, bridge, yeah, up there. If we, you'd have to build... The weird thing is, if you look at the level, I don't know, it just depends on if there's a tunnel at the bottom of the, the uh, thing. You could also just build a dam, maybe. Yeah, that but would work. I just don't know... There's so, this big block of dark stuff right in here. What's the flaming skull doing? We don't really know. Uh, I'm looking at his spells while you guys are discussing. Damn yeah, would be a way easier. If there's thing. a if there's a hole in here that goes to this goes to that inlet there by the water wheel, if there's like a, literally a hole down here, then that makes good sense. But if it's at the same level as the bottom of these stairs, then it's kind of weird. I was thinking that this passage up here might be the same as like it it might be yeah that's what, it might see you got this little angle right here down yeah i don't know we'll have see to by just... the upper left of the water wheel it goes straight up so or it may go up to this passage up here or it may go um it may make a left or something and be like there may be like a tunnel down here at the bottom that we didn't notice or oh hey oh cool oh, thanks let's go up okay yeah. okay i'm i'm ready i'm ready ready for action i'm ready Sorry, we're losing okay. our minds because this map is so cool. We're okay. not really losing uh, our minds. It's just, the it's the really cool. flaming ball of death moves here. And then goes pop into Albert. <laughs> you need to make that save and throw. Uh, what's the save of? Uh, it's a constitution semi so I believe. Let me, let me look. Let me look. Where... We will let you look. I'm oh, sorry. Dexterity saving throw. You jump out of the way, barely avoiding getting severely burned, and only getting burned for three damage. Man, I'm right in between this huge fireball and this forge. Get a little warm in there. There's a lot of bones up there. You like how it just sits there burning? And then the skull is going to turn back towards the guy standing next to it. It opens its mouth. Bop it down into the fire! Black is it Jack a, says... Fire shoots out. Is it attacking me in melee with a ranged attack? Uh, he's using <laughs> a ranged spell attack. Oh, so it has disadvantage. Yes. Drop it down into the fire, Black Jack says. Back from whence it came. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. I want to screen cap this and show it to you. But his low roll was a 16. Oh. Uh-oh. His high roll 
which he didn't get, by the way. And it was his first roll, was a 20. Wow. So does he hit a wow. 21 AC? Yes, he does. So you're getting burnt for ten fire damage. Oh. Ow. And then you know what? He does it again. What? Well, he sells his advantage. Ah, again. this one this one goes wide. He then is going to float. Oops. He is going to float out here. I'm smashing. So what are you going to try to do? Smash. First off. He just said smash him. Oh. What? What? First off, I have to see if I can use this attack on people that aren't marked by me. That aren't what? That aren't marked by me. Ah. Even if you... Nope, I don't think I can. So I'm going to just smash him with my stick. Okay. Smack him good. He doesn't have a very high AC. Wait, was that your roll? Silence. If, if you said yes, I believe you. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm eating a cookie. Yes, that was my roll. Ah. His AC is higher than 10. Eh. So he floats out still 20 feet in the air, by the way. Aren't you glad he attacked you and then moved away? <clears throat> okay, his turn shouldn't take too long anymore because I've read all of his stuff now. Sorry, like Jack. I was just sneezing. Um, let's see. <clears throat> There's another sneeze for you. Um, seeing a uh, good moment i suppose blackjack will shoot an arrow at the uh or crossbow bolt at the the skeleton floaty eyeball thing i know it's not an eyeball but you know whatever here we go magic weapon fire the bolt flies wide ah it's shaking everywhere blackjack says i can't hit it um and blackjack stays right there his turn is done Okay, two. <sighs> Trying to get away. And three. Trying to get away. You can't climb through a wall. And then it's Albrecht's turn. So I can't reach that thing in melee, right? It's 20 feet above me. Its elevation is 20 feet. Your elevation is zero. You do okay, not have so... enough. You can reach the 5 to 10. You cannot reach 20. Okay, that's what I figured. I'm just going to cast Guiding Bolt on it again. Bad. All right. That's an attack roll, right? Yep. That is amazing. That is absolutely it, amazing. Yeah, it, it, that's the one word for it. I didn't say it was good. <clears throat> so he did it again? Huh? I did it again. Hey, Zane, you know what you can give to him to make him not have what's about to happen? Uh, Your inspiration? How's that work? You can give your inspiration to other people. Can I? Yeah. Would that affect anything on a natural one anyway? Uh, yes. Yeah, you would get advantage. Roll. Get a second roll. Yeah. I give it to him. Make that second <laughs> roll. 
You hit him! Much better. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry for that game, but, uh... That's fine, I'm con- You- You basically give your inspiration away. The alternative was I probably would have hit one of you with it again. Coding. Actually, technically, you award them your inspiration point, and they can choose to use it. Or not. But, but I don't can... use it. Be mad. if you gave it, didn't use it, you'd probably be mad. Yes. And well, he'd have inspiration then. Yeah. Well. Well, thank you. That's a lot better. Role this. Window. Here we are. Oh, I forgot. Well, I that. Forgot that, song. that does a lot of damage. Oh, jeez. I know. Okay, is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Okay. It is number five. He's four. Same thing. Skeleton number four, though. Skull is radiant damage. Uh, yeah, yeah, if it mattered, I would have taken it into account. Answer. Okay. Yeah, that's for that spell, yes. Okay, it's his turn. Hey, uh, you see, hey, Zach. He sees what you're doing. Coming over to fight him. So he's going to shoot you. He's going to shoot you right in the face. Do it. Your AC is 18. Your AC is 18. Well, if your AC is 11, uh, 19 or 11, yes. Okay. Reaction. Second. Reduce the And if he takes no damage, he isn't hit by it, technically. It would be less than that. I catch the missile. I spin around in a circle. I charge it and launch it back at him. Doesn't that cost a key point? Yup. So... Is it his own attack against him? No, this is my attack against him. Improvised ranged? Um, no, nope, it's considered a monk weapon, and he has proficiency with it. Yeah, oh. basically. Okay, then go ahead. Make your make your proficient ranged attack. And since it's a monk weapon, he can choose to use his dex or his... What about dex? Is it the same as it would have been if it had hit you? I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, I think I think damage the same way actually. It's if I'm using a monk uh, weapon, me, then I can pick one check. or the other. I don't know. No, 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 no. I can choose to use strength and to use dex in place of strength. So with something like this, I actually would still be using my dex. Uh, you have to use dex. I have to use dex. It's I can replace dex with strength, not the other way around. Or sorry, I can replace strength with dex, not the other way around. Yeah, that's the way it works. Pretty, I'm pretty sure because my dart didn't go up at all from me wearing my. Doesn't actually. So I'm just gonna have to say, unless we find something that says different, it would be the same damage to him as it would have done to you. When yeah. You throw it. As far that, as the die goes. That's fine. And that's what I'm going with. So that's me throwing it back at him. That definitely hits. The die is a d6. It's 1d6. Because he is willing a short bow. Hey, 
thing is, that's about the same amount of damage he would have done to you. I mean, almost exactly. It's cool. I mean, I, it only cost me a reaction and a key point, so it's basically like free damage. That's true. I mean, that's what makes it... Reduces and redirects it to someone else when it was just... It only cost me a reaction and a key point. All right, so you just caught it and threw it back and hit him with it. Well, it's uh. Last I'm not sure if Mike was here for that or not. I'm here. So, range of that thing now. So um, I'm here. Mike, what you, you missed are, he was is, he is five feet away from you. What you missed was a skeleton shot me. I caught the hmm. arrow, spun around in a circle, and threw it back at him. So yes, no, you're I, did, I didn't miss it. Cool. It was pretty sweet. Yeah. I just wish it had done more damage. So, I did see that uh, an enemy is immune to the prone condition, he suffers the negative effects of it, which is he's like battered around, and like provides advantage. Where do you see that? <clears throat> uh, it is on page 71, but that's the player's basic rules. Where? Page 71 of... This is where I googled it and checked. It doesn't really matter in this case right now, but I'm going to still be it first. Mac. <coughs> well, Chris, I, I think okay, I Okay, okay, okay. If it's not prone, its speed is reduced to zero. It's otherwise deprived. It falls unless it has the ability to be held aloft. This guy has the ability to be held aloft. He has the he has the ability to hover. It makes no sense that the effects would still be there if he's not actually prone, though. You rolled a twenty. A 20 automatically hits. It just might not crit. In this case, of course it crits. Well, he takes that much magical bludgeoning damage. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to just shield bash him down. Back to, uh... <clears throat> I guess he's, like, above me. So I'm just going to bash him back down to, like, my level. No, he's at your level right now. So oh, I'm going to bash him down slightly below my level then. And, like, right here, so it's technically almost the flank. Almost. So... He needs to beat that in a... Uh, Opposed acrobatics check. <clears throat> he can and uh, make a concentration. Check. He does. Oh shit! Did he make one whenever Albrecht shot him? I don't think so. Well. Well, let me make two then. Uh, he succeeds both. Well, did Albrecht do above like twenty damage? No, I did. Okay, well, <clears throat> it was worth a shot. He's still in range of me, so that's the end of my turn. How bad this skull looking? Uh, he's looking pretty bad, actually. Okay. So that was... Lazarus' turn. So that was Lazarus' turn. Okay, so it's... His turn... Well, he's gonna go over to there. <laughs> it's number three's turn. 
He doesn't like you either, Zane. Well, I've already reacted, so. Well, he. What was your IC again? Fifteen. Yeah, he it actually hits the uh, the paddle you're standing on. Zing makes this face. And it is Zang's turn. Okay, Zang will try to run across this one, two, <laughs> three, and like jump down on top of this guy with his staff and beat the shit out of him. Okay, I need an acrobatics check to run across that log. Well, it's a beat. Can he run through there? Oh, wait, that's a wheel. It, yeah, it's a big water wheel. Maybe there's a hole right where that log is. No, that's what I imagined. Where it's attached to the... Then where is the wheel attached? No, it's attached to the axle, but what I'm saying is maybe there's a hole. Usually there's the spokes, wheel. and you can, like, see that's through true. it. They are... I'm just saying maybe. I'm saying it's... No, that, I don't that make, know. That makes sense. The DM determines the jazz. I'll say there's spokes. Why not? That's fine. Yeah, you know, it would have made this whole endeavor pretty pointless if there weren't, so yeah, thank you. Yeah, would have done something different, that's all. I'd say it's fine. That makes sense with me. I'm glad I've got training in acrobatics and athletics. Lazinga. Can I, can I proceed with my <clears throat> rampaging nonsense? Yes, yes you can. Ah, damn. Skeleton number four will not live past this day. I'm going to move there because it makes more sense. I'm coming down on top of him like, what shall? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah. Yes. Pop him for that much. You pop him into pieces. How many movement was that? Let's see, you started here. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, four. Yeah. Who's using it? Was it four from right here or <clears throat> it was four to right there. Four right there. There, okay. Then cool. Then one, two, three, and then I kick that one. Ooh. Hell yes. You hit him. Awesome. Bludgeoning damage. Yeah, yeah, he's he's dead too. Awesome. You just killed both of them. Zing looks back across the canal at everyone fighting uh, the uh, the flaming skull and uh, prepares to uh, rejoin the main combat, but ends his turn. Okay, so then, dead, dead. It's the skull's turn. Mr. Flame Skull. You know what he's gonna do? <clears throat> What's he gonna do? He's gonna back up. I'm a smack him for that. In what manner? Just like hit him? Over the head? Oh, okay. Maybe try to, like, baseball bat him into the ground? I don't know. Depends on if... He's too, he is too high for you. Does, does that hit him? Yes, it does. Baseball bat swing. Well, you hit him. But you didn't kill him. So he moves out to about here. Now, he does have to make a concentration check because you pushed him. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, he rolled an 18. 
It really it's just seems good. like it's nigh impossible to make it with anything that's casting lose its concentration. I think it's because this guy's been rolling really good. Well, it's like, okay, so... That is an interesting thing, Blackjack. That actually is kind of interesting. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so yeah, the that first bit is really weird. It's only one roll. You and you multiply. Him are twenty feet apart. This is going to be important for what I do next. <laughs> when you destroy them. No, you see, you know when you said earlier, "Hey, that's not fireball, is it?" <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Fireball. This one is most definitely Fireball. And it's uh, going to go right here, directly in the middle between you guys. And it goes 20 feet in all directions. I, uh... Hey, how do you use Fireball in like the like right? <laughs> He moved to get out of Fireball. <laughs> Actually, there is, the save is take half damage. But you still save. You still need to try to save, yes. Is it dex? Fireball. A giant explosion. I use the jazz. Yes, I can use the jazz. Uh, I say, your That's fireball's a little weak, dude. Um, and I'm modifying the, uh, the damage roll. Okay, so. Each creature within a 20-foot radius sphere centered on that point must make a dexterity. Radius sphere. Radius Holy crap. Sphere. It's huge. <laughs> must, make a dex must make a dexterity saving throw. Do I save... You will take uh, you will take half damage. Albert I take will no, take, I'll take full. Albert I take will no take damage. Full damage. And then you will reduce the damage, please, by this much. I take no damage. Yes. That is almost the best possibility. Just so you know, it's eight d six. So I I basically I take... reduced it to uh, to six d six. I take uh, no damage. Minus five. Who does? Me. Why? Shield mastery. Oh, sweet. Um, what? It gives me evasion. I'm sorry, Albert. You're taking all the damage. Oh, if I man, next time if I had known that, I would have just put the penalty. It bang. It was a, it was a saving throw. Because yeah, I can. I, I take no, I can do that. Whatsoever. No, no, it's just originally he was going to take damage, and now he won't. At it's all. Saving throw. No, you might. You might be right on that, since it's a saving throw. How exploded do I get? See, it's eight d six, so you know the maximum of that, right? Subtract five. Why are we subtracting five? Because I'm awesome. Uh, I told him his explosion is not so good. Maximum of that's 48, I think. Yeah, so the maximum you can get is 43 damage. Yeah, Which but... Which is, ex like, one more than I have. Yeah, but he's gonna roll on average half that. I he's already rolled. The electronic dice going. But the, 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 the. Uh, the, the electronic dice weren't kind. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. What is your current health total? Uh, total? Don't yeah. ask him. Uh, 45. Oh, you aren't going down. You take... If anyone in the party was to get hit with a fireball, Bob honestly... Brick is the one. He's yes. the only one. He's the only one who can take 34 fire damage. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, I, he just kind of shrugs it off. Yeah, all of us, that's pretty much our entire life so, total, so. I mean, that's not really that bad for me, either. 
I can just imagine him standing there in the fireball. He's just he's just taking it, just standing there, leaning towards it like. Uh, no, I mean, no. I'm not that bad. I mean, I'm pretty close to death, but I'm still standing. Now the question <clears throat> is: is what happens when this little ball over here comes and nudges you? That's also it a nudge save, right? Yep. Oh uh, dang. I don't think you can do anything for that. You succeed. You take half damage. <laughs> uh, thank Jesus. And your half damage is five. Still up. The skull's not very happy. He wanted to kill someone. He's thinking, I'm going to die. Why can't someone else? Lazarus is just standing there with, like, his shield kind of on fire, just like, whoo, I am. Yeah, he's really mad that huh. you didn't get killed. He wanted you to get blown up and fall into the middle there. That's what he wanted. Yeah, I'm on fire enough that I'm, like, you know, the cartoony, like, when they explode and they're all just black with, like, little eye dots. I'm that right now. But I'm up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Blackjack. Oh, sweet. It's Blackjack's turn. Blackjack says, um, to the, uh... Uh, can do both of those. Hmm. Uh, he he looks at Albrecht, and he's got to pick one of two things. Just a second, I gotta read this real quick. Aren't you glad he didn't do that when there were three of you down there? He says, "I know you can dodge it next time, Albrecht," and he inspires you, and. Uh, Basically, you get an you get a bardic inspiration die, and basically, you can wait um, until you roll a d20 before deciding whether or not to use it. But you have to decide it before uh, the DM says it succeeds or fails. And you can you get to add once during the next ten minutes, you know, a d6 to any d20 roll. Yeah, uh, ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. But you have to wait until, or you can wait until you roll the d20, but only before the DM decides whether okay. or not it hits. So that's good for a dexterity saving throw. Um, and then Blackjack looks at the dude, and he can't remember the distance. So he goes up to this square, and he fires a crossbow bolt at the dude. Yeah, so basically I'm just trying to help you out a bit. Man, Blackjack misses again, and he moves back out of the distance because he saw what the heck happened there. Turn done. All right. So yeah. Bardic die. Two, three. Oh, I just blew all my daily stuff. It's Albert's turn. <clears throat> Aren't you? I'm going to do is healing word myself. That's a good idea. You're the best. <laughs> the best. Be a level two healing word. Long <laughs> reinflate. <laughs> Aren't you glad that we actually took a short rest before a uh, long rest before going here? Oh, uh, I still had all my dice. I was fine, cool. really. Yeah, he would have no been spells. dead. Oh. Yeah, I had twenty health max before this. <laughs> Well, the other thing is, is I did not realize that um, what's his name was not going to get. Uh, I didn't know you had that shield thing. So, oh, you did. I don't think you had it then. I don't know. Anyway. So now that I'm here, I pull out a little bottle and try and throw it at him. Oh, what, what is bottle. this little bottle? Holy water! <laughs> Holy water! It's the exact counter to a flaming skull. <laughs> the DM has it says silenced. it's used as a ranged weapon, but it does say improvised. Yeah, it counts as a weapon improvised ranged attack. You didn't need to get up right next to him to use it. I need to be within twenty feet, and he's floating above me. Well, that's right. He is. Well, yeah, well, I mean, you could technically a, do it yeah, from, from a here, diagonal, or... but it's okay. Don't worry about it. You did a granny throw. I get away from the fireball anyway, so I should move. Yeah, he has a point. So what do I do differently that it's improvised? 
Yeah. Just roll an attack roll. So you use your strength if your strength is highest. No, no, you use your strength because it's a, it's not a like finesse weapon. Like a dart or like a bow would be. Oh mm. yeah, it's it isn't. So you get. It's no like choice. a it's like throwing no a hand axe. But, yeah, I know. That's why I said no, no choice except for. The bottle gets lodged in his jaw and it shatters. You make a ranged attack. It does 2d6 radiant damage. Does that much damage? Technically, a. Uh... You see the flame fizzle out and he crumbles to the ground, crumbles into little bits and falls to the ground. Nice. It's the target. And that's the end of my turn. Well, that's the end of that fireball, as, unless he's. As, not wait, dead. actually, let me. Let me, let me... <laughs> Basically, you hear you hear coming from it a no as it dies <laughs> because oh. you sprinkled holy water on it. Well, okay. more like threw holy water on it. Yeah, you can either sprinkle it as a like melee attack, or you can throw it and it actually shatters on him. Dude, Albrecht, you basically like used shark repellent on a shark. What is that was pretty sweet. It's pretty awesome. Is the, is the fire thing dead yet? Oh yeah, that one that went away when the when the Yes. Uh, it just dis it went away. Okay, so is that the end of your turn? Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Okay, so then it is zombie number five. Still down there. Zombie number four. Still down there. Skeleton number four. Dead. It's Lazarus's turn. Well, hey there, Mr. Zombie. <clears throat> and I'm going to try and decapitate. Uh, yeah, decapitate. But less with, like, a sword and more just, like, baseball its head off. Does that hit? Does that hit? Yes. Yes, it does. You do damage. You broke his shoulder, you think? Is that all you're going to do? Uh, that's all I really can do. Well, zombie number one's gonna bring it right back at you. Because it's his turn. I put my shield in the way. So first... The reason it said no. Uh oh. Oh. It was <laughs> lucky. That's how I killed it then. Wow. Yeah, I was like, how did he know? <laughs> it's like <laughs> Hermadead. Wow, that was awesome. Lucky. Lucky Jazz. That's, that was a lucky, very lucky good. <laughs> That's like the best thing ever. We are the best. I actually just used it because I was waiting for an excuse to use this. I've been carrying it since the beginning of the adventure, and I was like, well, I don't want to use a spell. Here we go. He spins in a little circle and does a dance. It's well, a he's turn. You might want to keep in mind, though, you, 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 you may want to get another bottle of holy water just in case we run into more creatures that don't die permanently. Yeah, like that. Also, you, you do not know that. Your characters do not yeah. know that. <laughs> okay. He'll probably get one anyway. That's true. He's now, he's now either out of holy water. Come on, you only have some both. stupid zombies left now. Come on. You're nearly there. <laughs> on the upside, I have some holy water. 
See, on one hand, I'm glad the Flame Skull didn't kill you. On the other hand, he's so cool. You remember the last Flame Skull we had that we had a fun time with? That was a Flaming Skull, not a Flame Skull. Oh. It's a different, it was a different monster. I'm sure. No, it is a different, they're, they're different creatures. Yeah, that's fine. It wasn't green. Um. Oh gosh. Uh, Isn't it Zing's turn? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Zing's oh, gonna okay. jump across the scap. You easily bridge the gap. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't just do that in the first place, really. Because you just my away. way of doing it was more fun. <laughs> Hey, no problem if you want to do that. And he's going to leisurely just walk right here. He can't get to it in this turn, or, but or there's no rush. So... Run off. You could run across over here. No, I don't have that ability yet. Oh, well, that's right. That's like level, what, eight? Something? Okay. Yeah. You could just touch yourself with your staff, and then you're like, oh, yeah, I will run. Well, but then I lose it. You can only do it once. Okay, so you are... Is that as far as you can go? Yeah. Oh. Okay, uh, Blackjack. Alrighty. Um, Blackjack can't do much. He brings out a sword, and he gets gets to getting. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Turn done. Gosh, how much experience is this combat worth? Let's not worry about that. Let's keep going. You done? Yeah, I said done. Okay. It is Albrecht's turn. The only one of these guys who can move is number one. The rest of them can do nothing. Oh, but dodge. They can dodge. How high up is this bellows? Um, well, over at the bottom here, it's like two or three feet up. Over here, oh, okay. I'd say it's like maybe ten feet up. Yeah, this is where more I'm more where I'm at. I just jump over it then. Yeah, you can easily jump over that. Um, can I see the one that's not turned? You, uh, well, How it is a pyramid. More? Yeah, you you kind of would know, so you can see him. Yes. Okay, can I cast Sacred Flame on him? Yes, you can. Okay, then I do so. I was going to say you wouldn't know, but you're the guy who cast the spell, so you kind of would know. So he's got to make a 14 dex. Cool. You're asking a zombie to make it. Yeah. Hey, he rolled a 19 last time. Okay, 1d20 minus 2. Here, I'm just going to roll. Oops. He failed. His minus two killed him. So he burns for that much. Actually, that might not kill him. Oh, no. Yeah, that does. That does kill him. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. Lazarus. <clears throat> I go to shield bash this guy to knock him prone. Okay. He needs to be that in a uh, acrobatics or athletics check. He fails. He fails. He is knocked prone. And I proceed to impale him. Well, actually, no, I just play golf with his head. He tries to give you puppy dog eyes. <laughs> what? No, that didn't work. What? Oh, that didn't work at all. Well, he's not dead. Again. He's certainly not good looking. Well, he already wasn't good looking, but you know what I'm. And then move over here. Okay, Zang. Actually, uh, yeah. Actually, I can get to here. 
Pool thinks I'd go there. And I wacky whack. Well, I guess blackjacks. What? Wacky whack. You wacky whack it. He had damage dealt to him. <laughs> I wacky whack. Number five. Takes damage. But is it dead? Is it the end of your turn? Is he dead? No, no, he's not. Kick him in the face. You hit him again. This might kill him. Yeah, that kills him. And my turn. Light check. I'm gonna try to kill this guy who's prone on the ground, I guess. I don't remember. Yeah, he's prone, he prone on the ground. I shield bashed him. Okay. <laughs> so you just like ran by and shield Yeah, I, I just shield bashed him then walked over to the other guy. I'm sorry, I really wasn't paying attention. Oh, it's fine. Like, that's just why I love this. It's just like, I can just use a bonus action to just knock he's still, people from. He's still, under, he's still under the jazz, isn't he? Because he didn't deal any damage. Oh, no, I hit him. I, I did damage to him. Oh, you damaged him? Okay. All right. Well, anyway. All right. Um, But he's still alive? Yes. All right. Cool. Um, I'm going to do this and this. And then I'm going to do... Uh, you have advantage at least. Yeah, that's what I said. This and this, and then <laughs> I'm guessing one of those two hits. So I'm gonna do this. I slash him my sword while he's down on the ground. Die. He dies. And then, um, those two are dead. And then, so then I'm just gonna come back over. And just be looking this way. Turn done. All right. All right. I'll be. I'll move in and swing. Number two is not happy. Doesn't want to be near you. Oh, you hit it. Well, you don't kill it. Good shot. All right, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Lazarus. I'm going to shield bash that one that he just hit. He needs to make a athletics or deck acrobatic save. Well, I don't believe a total of a five does it. He's not crowned, then I proceed to bash his skull in. Yeah. Yeah. He takes that much damage. And that's the end of my turn. All right, Zang. Can you wrap this up? Okie dokes. Um, what still needs to die? Sorry. The one I got that one, yep. Got it. You barely hit him. Awesome. That's right. You rolling a two still hit him. <laughs> well, he dead now. Did you know their AC is eight? 
hilarious that I can hit him with a, with a two. That's so funny. You hit him with a ten once tonight. I'm not a ten. That was a skeleton you hit with. So, everything's dead. Everything is dead. I open the door and look in the forge. I could probably use some medicine. Yeah, I figured. You get, uh... I actually have to look to see if there's something going on with the forge. So I'm looking to see if there's anything in there. You, uh, you get that much medicine. Sweet. Okay, so this is a blast furnace and mechanical bellows powered I by a water wheel. That. The furnace is cold. It's cold? It's not running. So this whole time it hasn't been hot. I never said it was. Oh. You said it was... You said we were feeling hot when we got close to it. No, that was the, that was the giant about... five-foot fireball ten inches from your face. That's why okay. you were feeling hot. I thought you also said something about you would not want to fall in. Well, you wouldn't. No, I mean from a height <laughs> standpoint for sure. Um, But anyway... So then I open it up and I see what's inside or what's not inside. You see a cavity. It looks like it's the inside of a blast furnace because that's what it is. Yeah. Do I see there, anything? There is uh oh actually there might be something. I'm assuming that there's a possibility that there's still a forged item in there. There is not a forged item. What's in there? Is you see uh, in the middle, like the exact middle beneath. I'm the, imagining in the middle beneath that smokestack in the middle there, directly beneath that. Yeah. You see a small piece of cloth arranged in a circle. A small piece of cloth arranged in a circle. Yes, like a piece of cloth that's been made into a circle shape. Oh, um. I tell everybody, hey guys, I think there's something in here. I'm going to detect whether or not there's any magic in here. Lock him inside, lock him inside. I'm not going inside, and I don't know why you would say that. Um, I attempt to detect magic inside the first... I'm not, like, climbing in unless there... I feel like there's a reason to. I walk in. There's a zombie corpse there, uh, too. You can't walk in from that side. No, no, I, I just, like, climb up the wall, and then just, like, spider still walking. still spider walking. Oh, so you go, you go down the tube in the middle. Okay. Yeah. As you're, as you're uh, detecting magic, you see two feet. Yeah, I see that, but I get to detect all the different magics, so is anything else magical? Uh, you do not detect anything magical other than your friend who got it. Okay. By. And uh, you see there is a cloth. You're basically Arranged standing in a circle. on it. He's, and he's... in the middle of it, there is a small pile of gems. Is this like... So I did I not them? see the gems at all? I saw there, the cloth, but not the gems. There's the cloth, and in the, kind of in the middle of them. You could, it wasn't like piled up on top of the cloth. No, it's in the middle of them. I understand that. There's like kind of a cavity in the middle, and the, that's where the gems were. I pick Great. up the cloth and the gems, and make sure I double check to see I didn't miss any gems. You see no other gems, or anything else for that matter in there. I walk out. Which way? The same way you came in? Yeah. Okay. Let me give you a list of what's in there. Okay. Yeah, this... The flame skull was, um... More intimidating than the actual wizard. Yeah, it burned things. It burned me real well. Like, the wizard was just like, Oh no, spiders, deal with them. The flaming skull is just like, Eat a dick, 8d6 damage. It's like, oh, oh, okay, okay. By the way, I'm hurt. Would you like some medicine? Plus. I give Zing some medicine. And if I hadn't randomly decided to throw holy water at it, we'd have to deal with it again in an hour. How that's many... how much health. That's how much health you get. Cool. 
I need to restock on like medkit soon. <laughs> Cause I have three left. I mean I have one if you really end up needing it, but Well I mean I have like twenty nine uses. Oh, then that's not quite as bad. Yeah. That's what the little pile is. You do not know those numbers. Those are for pos pos Therefore, so we don't forget. Yes. <laughs> do I know them now? Uh um you know the garnets and the rubies. You aren't sure about the other one though. Okay. Let me get you that. Share your spoils with the party. I mean, there's no reason not to. Except that you hate us. <laughs> he wants all the gems. The gems are mine. Where'd you eat them? I find a lot of gems, guys. Cool. We'll do something with them later. Yeah. Do you tell everyone what the gems are you found? I found two rubies, two sapphires, a dime or four diamonds, and uh, ten garnets. Cool. Pretty rocks people will buy for money. Yep. Anyway, uh, exploration time continues. Uh, no, no exploration question? time does not continue. It's 1 a.m. and I am tired. Dang. It's fine. It's a pretty good place can, to stop anyway. Can you give us at least one thing? Does this connect up here? Yeah. I know it, it probably does, but... Okay, yeah. thank God. Yeah. yeah. And, and what's over this way that we can see? From Albert standing, like, right there. Okay. All right. We'll probably finish this up tomorrow. Uh, not, not tomorrow. Awesome. Sorry. <laughs> next, next, uh, next, uh, next week. Because this place is freaking massive. Yeah. <laughs> that is a pile. Of, that is a pile of scrap. Of what? Scrap metal. Ah. That's scrap metal? I thought it was like a bunch of skeletons. I thought it was the the former, yeah. Or the latter, whatever yeah, skeletons. That's a swarm. It could be scrap metal. I just thought based on what I what no, it looks no, like. Just because a lot of them look like skulls. I zoomed in on it. That is a bunch of skeletons. Okay, time for bed. Thanks for playing, guys. Yep. They're scrap.